Lately, we've looked at homologous series of hydrocarbons such as the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, and how they possess similar properties within their families. If one of these hydrogens are replaced by another atom or groups of atoms, these are known as functional groups. For example, if a hydrogen is replaced by an OH, this is known as a hydroxyl functional group and forms the compounds known as alcohols. Naming alcohols follow the same method as other hydrocarbons. So in this example, you need to identify the longest parent chain and name it by removing the letter E at the end and replacing it with ol. So this butane becomes 1-butanol or butan-1-ol. The number one identifies the location of the functional group which needs to be given the lowest location. If we take the same alcohol and replace another hydrogen with a hydroxyl, that position must also be named. So this is 1,3-butane-diol or butane-1,3-diol. The di tells us there's two hydroxyls. How about this one? Once again, identify the longest carbon chain, which will be pent. Now there are rules for naming the functional groups and in this case, hydroxyl have priority. So it must be given the lowest possible number for its location. So we number it from right to left. 3 pentene 2 ol. Notice I didn't drop the letter E as it's already separated by a dash. It could also be called pent 3 n 2 ol. Let's do one more variety. Say we're given a 5 carbon chain in a ring structure with a lone hydroxyl attached. We know it's going to be a pentane since it only has single bonds. And due to its ring structure, it has the prefix cyclo. Since hydroxyl is the only group here, its position is understood, so its name would just be cyclopentanol. Say we add another hydroxyl. We must assign them the lowest possible numbers. So if we number them in this way, it will be 1, 2, cyclopentadiol, di because there's two, or cyclopentane 1, 2, diol.